Hi everybody, today I want to show you a really quick and easy way to share documents with students just through your Google Drive. If you're a Microsoft school, you can just do the same thing but with your OneDrive. Right, the first thing I need to do is create a <coughs> excuse me, folder, new folder, and I'm going to give it my class name, uh, shared docs. There it is there, if I want to be really flash, I can right click, change the color. I can add it to my start if I want, right click, add to start, and that way I can find it really easy just by going to start. All right, so back to my drive, and you can see that it stands out really easily. The next thing I need to do is share that folder with my students. So I'm just going to right click on it and go up to share. And I'll add my email addresses in there. It's really quick and easy with your student management system because you type in the first couple of letters, of course, and the students' email addresses pop up straight away or their names pop up straight away and it's all automatic. So don't stress about having to know every student's email address. So here's my fab student. And it's come up straight away, as you can see. Click on that. I'll add all of my students here. And then here is the key change this to can view only then send now you can see that the folder has been shared because it's got the little person in there so that's nice and easy i've got to populate my folder now with documents that i want the students to have access to so how am i going to do that I'm not going to upload anything, which is often people's first instincts. All I need to do is go to my folders, so I'm going to go and share, go into my 1.8, and I want to share this document with my students. I'm going to make a copy first, make a copy, so that my original has no chance of getting completely munted by students. It's sort of a double thing. I've already got the folder shared as view only. Uh, but this is uh, taking extra care. So I've got my copy here. All I need to do now is move it into that folder. So right click again and move to. And then I find my year 11 folder, 11DL, shared docs, pop it in there. Scroll down till you get the move button, it always disappears. Moving this item will share it with everyone who can see that folder. That's exactly what I want. OK. And we're done. And that will be in that folder now. So I can easily check it. Just went to start then. And there it is there. Right, now let's look at it from the point of view of a student. So here is Fab student. And here's his drive. Now, that student might go straight to the drive and say, Miss, Miss, you haven't shared the folder with me. Yes, I have. You need to look and share with me. The student will also get a, an email that they can use um, to go to the link. But he's shared with me. Just refresh. And that's another thing, if you're doing it in class at the time, encourage the students to hit refresh if it doesn't come up. Right, and there is the folder with shared documents. Click on that. And the student is saying, wow, that's great. I'm going to start typing. And of course, because it's view only, as you can see up there, there is no way that I can type into that. So what do I do? Student opens the, fi the file and goes file, make a copy, make a copy, and then names it. So, um, Aroha, um, what was it, 1.8. And then decides where in the folder, where in her drive to put it. So 
obviously she doesn't want to put it in the shared docs for everyone to see her work so goes to my drive and then look at this so organized bless pops it in the English folder <coughs> select okay And now, as you can see, that's Aroha's 1.8 task, and she can now type into it quite easily. So there is a really quick and easy way to share documents with your students. Hope it's of help.